there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Russell Simmons and his uh, I not so shocking comments about his daughter, Aoki, his 21-year-old daughter, who uh, was basically going viral for dating a man who is 44 years older than her, who is 65 years of age, passionately kissing. I posted some of the disturbing uh, photos and things on, on my backup channel, Anonymous Day Podcast, um, and, and all of the things. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, the disturbing footage of them on vacation at St. Bart's. But nonetheless, uh, you know... Aoki's mom seemed like she might have been upset, but I really can't tell. She posted like a subliminal of like a uh, panda bear and its cub and said that it's on her last nerve and all these things, but didn't directly like address it. And then um, Russell Simmons wants you to know, even though he is hiding out in Bali uh, from those allegations, right? Even though he still got served, right? I basically wants the people to know that he still talks to his kids every day. That he calls and talks to his daughters every day and, uh, you know, somebody in the comments was like, you know, basically talking to them like you're not going to say anything about, about your daughter's situation, about your daughter messing with a man who's 44 years older than her. And he says, uh, what do you think? I, what do you think? I don't talk to him, you know, and, and, and claims that he knew, uh, you know, before these pictures were going to go viral. Right. And said that his daughter told him who she was dating and who she was going to be involved with and all the things. And he says, quote, he is not going to kick and scream about her choices and that all he can do is offer my advice and unconditional love. See, here's the problem, you guys. Here is the problem. Here is the uncomfortable conversation that, that we need to have about some of these celebrities, about some of your faves. Pay attention to these celebrities that are either A, pushing their kids thrusting them into the spotlight at a significantly young age when technically they don't need to be in the spotlight right now. They, their parents supposedly have millions, supposedly are billionaires. They can go to school. Uh, you know, they can go to college. They can, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, a soccer player, basketball player, uh, uh, whatever, right? Whatever they want to put their mind to. But you'll notice certain celebrities, instead of that, they're like, you know what? I am going to thrust them out into the spotlight. I am going to force them into these things, into these provocative, uh, grown, uh, you know, images of them. And, and they're barely teens. They're barely even teens, right? But this should not shock you. Coming from the parent that allegedly knew Kimora Simmons. Uh, Kimora Lee Simmons, when she was underage, you guys, but said nothing happened until she turned 18. Oh, no, 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 no. And she, they thought, oh, because of her height, because she's model height, all those things that, that, oh, maybe, you know, no, that, that is inappropriate. It is inappropriate. She's underage. And, and you're trying to tell me that this guy just came around all of a sudden? No, 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 no. These, the, this whole Hollywood thing, right? This whole Hollywood bubble, right? These people know each other. These people, their kids grow up around all of these people. So it's very disgusting when you think about it right but it's very disturbing that unfortunately either these kids are going to repeat the same cycles as their parents which i do not understand because you would think if your parents did uh so not so appropriate things to get these riches that they wouldn't uh influence or, or try to even have anything close to what they did in their past uh you know being repeated and having the cycle repeat itself amongst their children because they don't have to isn't this a harvard grad right uh but but here we are here we are you guys uh you know and, and it's just disgusting it's just disturbing and, and it's just unfortunate right that you know basically he's rolling with it because he's like listen i can't talk myself because because i did the same thing and that's not the answer. <laughs> that is not the answer at all, right? The answer is, if you're a parent and you've made mistakes and you've and you made some decisions that were inappropriate, the answer is, do not repeat what I did. 
Do not do what I did. I did things I was not supposed to do. I did things because I, you know, I had an illness. I had a sickness, right? But, but that's not the thing. The, these people don't think that they're sick or that there's an illness or that this is inappropriate. That's the other problem, too. There's a culture within this Hollyweird business that thinks that this behavior is okay, that thinks this behavior is acceptable and it's fine as long as it brings millions of dollars to them. And that is not okay. What happened to having actual talent, you guys? What happened to having respectable careers and all these things? You're trying to tell me you can't get a big paying job, a good paying career, uh, being a Harvard graduate? Are you kidding me right now? This is what you want to do? Okay. Uh, so there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.